where have we come from and why are we here and where are we going? These are three questions that <laughs> people often ask. It seems to me that there are three possible answers to those questions. So the first one would be the, the theistic uh, explanation. So this is that uh, a divine being creates each individual um, and then according to what that individual has um, believed during their life or how they behaved during their life, that divine being, that God um, uh, judges them and uh, uh, sends them either to eternal heaven or eternal hell. Now, some people have got a problem with that, that theory, that explanation. I, I'll just mention one of these. So, yeah, we are born and we spend our life doing this, that and the other and we die. But why would it be that uh, God creates a being and then that being dies in the womb before it is born, which sometimes, tragically, sometimes happens. Or sometimes a child is born and dies a week later or five days later. Or a child is born and it dies, say, when it's one or two years old. Why would a supreme being have created that being and, and then cut their life off at the very beginning? So, and I can think of other... Uh, logical and uh, moral arguments that seem to suggest that that's not a complete um, explanation as to why we are here and where we are going. And then I'd say the second explanation would be the materialistic one which is very popular amongst highly educated people and scientists and people like that. So there the idea is that uh, the human humans have evolved from um, more primitive to more complex beings over periods of several millions of years, that uh, we are conceived through natural causes, like uh, the male and the female coming together, and the egg and the sperm and all that sort of thing, and that we are born, we live our life, and then when our life is finished we pass away, and that's pretty much the end of it. So that's, uh, that's uh, I think, a better explanation, but that doesn't answer one or two important questions either. For example, um, so a, a new life, human life, is conceived. It's in the womb for nine months, and then it comes out. And within a very short time, just a year or two, all of the psychological abilities that we have are already present in that child. It can think, it can remember, it can solve problems, it can conceive complex ideas. It seems remarkable that uh, from simply the meeting of an egg and a sperm, uh, and nine months later, that all of these incredibly complex, you might even say miraculous abilities are present in the human mind. Where do those abilities come from in such a short time from just pure, simple matter? So uh, there are questions like this that make us doubt some aspects of the materialistic um, explanation of why we're here, where we're going, how we got here, and so on. And I would say that generally the Buddhist explanation as is often the case, is somewhere in between these two explanations. So, Buddhism would agree that um, uh, conception is a natural process. The child is born, it grows into an adult over its lifespan, it does this, that and the other. Um, but Buddhism would differ from the materialistic view by saying that when the being, when a human being dies, there is a process of rebirth. Uh, that is, that the consciousness that has evolved and developed and grown and been modified over the lifespan, which has certain traits and abilities, etc., characteristics, simply re-establish itself in a new um, fetus. In other words, that we, we Buddhists believe or give the explanation of reincarnation or sometimes, from a Buddhist point of view, rebirth. And according to the Buddha, this process will continue. 
because of the uh, intense desire to uh, be reborn. In fact, you can say in a simple term, why are we reborn? Because we want to be. Everybody wants to avoid death if they possibly can. And so the tendency to want to continue into the future is very strong, and therefore that's basically what happens. So that is once again a, um, an explanation. Some people accept it, some people do not. I have accepted that. It seems to me of the three possible explanations, it's the most credible one. Now then sometimes people ask, well, is there any ultimate purpose? So according to the theistic view, um, the purpose is, of life is to get to know the divine presence uh, and consequently to be in the company of that divine presence for eternity. The um, materialistic view is that actually life has no purpose, it's just a natural process. Uh, the Buddhist explanation would be, once again, somewhere in between those. Okay, so in a sense, life doesn't really have a purpose, it's driven by, according to the Buddha, ignorance and craving. Um, however, uh, while life might not have a purpose, we have the ability to give it a purpose. And if you look around you, you'll see people have quite different purposes in their life. One guy wants to become a successful uh, footballer. Another one wants to become a scientist or a teacher or something like that. They find themselves in existence, in society, and they look around and they say, well, I would like to do that. I would like to achieve that. They give their life a purpose. So the Buddha definitely said it is possible to give your life a purpose. And uh, the purpose of life, according to uh, the Buddha, is to attain uh, a state of uh, ease and eternal peace and rest, which he called uh, Nibbana, or, or more commonly known as Nirvana. And um, it, I think it's important to point out that it seems to me that the Buddha gave or taught two goals in life, two purposes in life. The first is what you might call the primary goal, the most important goal, and that's to attain Nirvana. But he also taught many what you might call secondary goals. So these are like to become a loving parent or a responsible citizen, or a successful business person, or a decent, kind person. These are not the ultimate purposes of life, according to the Buddha, but they are uh, important ones nonetheless, and the Buddha encouraged us to see these. Although they're not the ultimate goal of life, they are the foundations that will help us to eventually start to change our um, purpose in life to the higher goal, which is to attain Nirvana. At least that's the Buddhist explanation.